Hi everybody, Harris here with I Download Blog. So if you're like me, you came to college and you had a HomePod. For me, it was the full-sized HomePod, and you tried to connect it to your university's Wi-Fi, but unfortunately, it required a username and password, so you weren't able to connect the HomePod, which only works with a password at, at the most. So there is a simple way of going around this. You can have uh, your school's IT or your work's IT or the hotel's IT or whatever whitelist the MAC address of your HomePod. That way it'll let it bypass without the username and password. Uh, for me, there's actually a portal for my school that lets me manually enter in a MAC address, which allows me to essentially whitelist the device and then I can connect it to the network uh, without using username and password. Now, the problem there is that Apple does not give you the MAC address on the box of your HomePod. So if you want to find your MAC address, you have to have either had it connected previously to a Wi-Fi network, such as maybe a home network, or you have to go through the steps that I'll show you in this video. But first, let's suppose that you're still at home before you move to college, which is the ideal case, and you'll need to find your HomePod's MAC address. So to do this, go into the Home app, and you'll make sure that you're on the right home. So for me, BC, and I can find my HomePod here, and I scroll down, and I hit Settings, and I scroll down, and you'll see your Wi-Fi address. And if you see Wi-Fi network, just tap it again, and you'll see Wi-Fi address. These 12 digits without the colons, that is your MAC address or your Wi-Fi address. So you're gonna copy this, or write it down, it's good to have, take a screenshot, whatever, and then manually enter that in or have your IT person whitelist it so that your device will be good to go. And then you just go ahead and restart the HomePod and connect it to that network and you should be good to go. So that's the simplest and best case scenario. If that doesn't work, you're going to need a couple devices. So first you're gonna need your own device, of course, whether it be your iPhone or an iPad. Secondly, you're gonna need another person's computer or even Android phone. So step one is you're going to need to download either the LAN scan app, that's L-A-N-S-C-A-N -S app, if you're using uh, a laptop, or you can use the network analyzer app if you're using an Android phone. Unfortunately, iPhones no longer let you view the MAC address after iOS 11 using apps like network analyzer. So you're gonna have to do that from an Android phone or a computer, and it doesn't have to be your computer. Secondly, you're going to need to start a hotspot from your phone. So go into personal hotspot and turn it on. If you can't, then you're gonna to have to have a friend who has a Wi-Fi hotspot, and then you're going to need to join their Wi-Fi hotspot. Now the next task is to connect your HomePod to that personal hotspot. So to do that, you put your HomePod near your phone and your phone again is either the one sending the hotspot or is using the hotspot. So either way it's connected to a network. And if that doesn't work for you, then you're going to need to go ahead and reset the HomePod. And to do this, you unplug it from the wall, wait 10 seconds, plug it back into the wall, hold down the middle button for 10 seconds. Siri will tell you that's going to reset and keep holding till it resets. When it turns back on, you should be able to connect it to the mobile hotspot connection. So once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and go on your computer or your Android phone and use the LandScan app or the Network Analyzer app, and you're going to scan the network for uh, that HomePod, and you're gonna find it listed under there. Now again, uh, you're gonna need your computer or the Android device connected to the hotspot as well. They all need to be on the same network. So once you find that on the LandScan app, or on the Network Analyzer app on your Android phone that's connected, again, to the hotspot. Write that down. That's what you're going to need to use. So once you have that, go ahead and go into the settings of your school's Wi-Fi, the manual list, and enter in that MAC address. Or you can go ahead and send your IT person a whitelist memo with that MAC address. Now, once you have that taken care of, you're gonna reset your HomePod again using the same steps as before. Unplug from the wall, wait 10 seconds, replug it in, wait 10 seconds, hold down the middle button for uh, and 10 seconds or more until Siri resets it. Once it's restarted, it should allow you to uh, connect to your school's or your office or your hotel's Wi-Fi or whatever it's using because the MAC address has been entered manually. You might have to unplug and plug it back in a couple times to get it to work, uh, but this has worked for me every time with both the HomePod Mini and the full-size HomePod. 
If this video wasn't helpful, you can check the written guide to this linked down in the description. But if you have any questions, let me know. Um, again, I am using my school's Wi-Fi and I have this working right now so I can select HomePod Mini and play things to it. Um, so it is indeed working. But let me know if you have any issues with this and uh, thanks for watching.